help from the Newton College and Career Academy FFA program, Ava is off to live the high life on a beautiful farm on the West Coast. Ava, who happens to be a sweet little Cairn Terrier, had been surrendered by her owners to the Newton County Animal Control. When her picture was posted on the National Adopt-A-Pet Registry, she caught the eye of Oregon resident Linda Anderson, who had been looking for that exact breed. Well, I was looking for another Karen Terrier because I love the Terriers, especially because you know they're, they're bred to go to ground and get rats and mice, and, and they're, they're a little busy and they're a little mischievous and they're, they're just fun. They're fun little dogs, they're not prissy at all. And um, they just, they're just fun little dogs. They're, they're happy and they're, they're smart. They're just, just nice little dogs to be around. And Once Anderson saw Ava, she knew she had to have her. But how do you make that happen when you are 3,000 miles away? Anderson reached out to Newton County Animal Control, but was told she had to be here to adopt Ava, or at least have someone else adopt her until she could make her way to Georgia. Anderson went back to the internet and during her search, stumbled upon information on the Newton College and Career Academy FFA program. She picked up the phone and called FFA advisor, Dr. Cecily Gunter. And the rest, as they say, is history. Members of the FFA adopted Ava on her behalf and cared for her until Anderson could fly to Georgia to pick her up. Dr. Gunter explained the thoughts going through her head when she received the initial phone call. Well, we were pretty confused at first. Um, I mean, that's not a normal phone call that you get every day. But after she told us her story and how she had found this dog and was looking for a way to get it adopted, it was an easy yes for us. We wanted to try to help out if we could. Gunter added that everyone quickly fell in love with little Ava. So when we got Ava, she was really skittish and kind of scared, um, but very lovable. And the last week we've really enjoyed getting to know her and she's warmed up to everyone, um, does great with everyone. Not a barker, easy, um, already trained. So she'll be a perfect dog for her. Anderson was quick to praise Dr. Gunter and the members of the Newton College and Career Academy FFA for helping her adopt Ava. She and everybody here have just been wonderful. They've been so nice that they just, they're just, I mean, they have just gone out of their way to, to accommodate somebody they've never heard of in their life. And um, so I was just, I was just thrilled to death. I just, I couldn't believe that they would be so nice to do that and just and I'm sure glad it worked out that she was a, a nice little dog that was you know just pleasant to be around and everybody liked her. The next day Ava and Anderson flew back to Oregon together to spend their days on the farm. Congratulations to the Newton College and Career Academy FFA students and staff for making it all possible. And best wishes to you, Ava, on your new life on the West Coast.